For a company that's made a lot of money by selling the concept of simplicity, Apple's holiday lineup features an almost overwhelming number of gadgets. Here's a look at the main product lines along with some buying advice for each category. Starting off with the newly announced iPads, you now have five iPad models to choose from. Starting prices range from $249 to $449. The iPad Air 2 is slightly thinner and slightly lighter than the original iPad Air. There's a souped up iPhone 6 and 6 Plus processor on board too called the A8X, which Apple says is 40% faster than previous efforts. But battery life remains 10 hours across the entire iPad line. Although the rear camera on the iPad Air 2 has been bumped from 5 to 8 megapixels and can capture time lapse and slow motion video. The front camera has been improved as well and wireless connections have been bolstered to provide faster data access. The newest iPad Air rounds things out by adding the Touch ID fingerprint sensor that debuted with the iPhone 5S so you can unlock the tablet and log into apps and sites without typing passcodes. It will be available in gold, silver, and gray and there's a new 128GB storage option available starting at $699. Late November 2013's iPad Air is sticking around though, this time with a $399 starting price down from $499. This is still a more than fine full size iPad. Spending the extra $100 on the iPad Air 2 gets you something marginally thinner and marginally lighter with a better rear facing camera, the fingerprint sensor, and a beefed up processor. If none of these are super important to you, the iPad Air is now a comparatively good deal. Now the new iPad Mini 3 is almost pound for pound a shrunken down iPad Air all the way down to the $399 starting price. You do get the fingerprint sensor, so there's that. Also there's a 128GB option, the iPad Air tops out at 32GB. It's smaller and lighter too of course, although not thinner with a starting weight of 0.73 pounds. So if you're interested in a small iPad, the iPad Mini 2 now looks like a really good bet actually. It's very similar to the iPad Mini 3 but doesn't feature the gold color option, the 128GB storage option, or the fingerprint reader. Just about everything else is there, minus $100 off the starting price. The original iPad Mini is sticking around as well with a starting price of $249. If ever you were to try to scrounge up an extra $50, this is the time to do it. Stepping up to the iPad Mini 2 gets you a much better screen and a much better processor. If the price of the original iPad Mini was now $199, it'd be a much harder decision. This thing's already two years old though. As for iPhones, you have four iPhone models to choose from, running the price gamut from free with a two-year contract to $499 with a two-year contract. The iPhone 6 Plus features a 5.5-inch screen and straddles the tablet phone chasm with a starting price of $299 with a two-year contract. Now going this big and expensive gets you a higher resolution screen than the iPhone 6, optical image stabilization when you're taking photos, and longer battery life. But it's the iPhone 6 that's Apple's flagship phone until further notice. It goes for a not-too-big, not-too-small 4.7-inch screen, and like all phones, an extra $100 for each trim level gets you more storage, though where previous lines doubled the storage for every $100 you spent, the 6 and 6 Plus both jump you from 16GB to 64GB this time around. Now last year's flagship model, the iPhone 5S, sports a 4-inch screen, fingerprint sensor, decent processor, and 8-10 to 10 hours of continuous use battery life. Starting at $99, bucks, it's still a fine phone with a good camera and a 32GB storage option that only costs an extra $50. On the low end, the iPhone 5C is free with a 2-year contract, comes in 5 colors, and is available with 8GB of storage. For all intents and purposes, this is a late 2012 iPhone 5 gussied up and re-released in late 2013. An extra hundred dollars gets you more processing power and double the storage in an iPhone 5S, but if you don't care about that and you don't care about the fingerprint reader, this one's a solid choice as a free phone. To get more information as well as additional analysis of Apple's computer, iPod, and Apple TV lines, head over to time.com and search for Apple's holiday gadgets lineup.